everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new backdrop. So I bought a new clothing rack that I've decided that I really want to put in the back of my videos. I kind of want my backdrops to be a little bit more consistent and I wanted something beautiful as well. So what's more beautiful than clothing, right? At least in my opinion. I just love clothes, obviously. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Saki. I make videos every single week about cute and girly fashion from Japan. This week's video is going to be another haul. If you didn't know already, I just got back from Thailand and Japan. Last Last week's video was also a haul, but it was a haul on Just Liz Lisa Clothing, which is my very, very favorite brand from Japan. This week's video is going to be all about the other stuff that I bought in Japan and Thailand that isn't Liz Lisa. I discovered a few new Japanese brands that I really, really like, so I wanted to share with you what I bought and also try on the clothing for you. So if you love haul videos, please continue watching. So before I went to Japan, I actually made a wish list of things that I really, really wanted to buy. And since I have a few Japanese brands that I really love, some of the things on my wish list was from the brand called Ankh Rouge. The first thing that was on my wish list is is this. This actually wasn't exactly on my wish list because I really wanted the dress of this at first. So this print is actually from the winter 2017 collection and like I said I originally wanted the dress but after seeing the dress in person I didn't really think that it would match my style so I ended up going with the skirt instead. It's just got this really cute bear and snow glow pattern and I just think bears and prints are so so adorable and I think this will be really really cute to wear in winter. It's also got an elastic bit in the back and a waist tie. The color is a little bit more purpley than I had thought. It's not that I dislike this color, I just love a more true pink. However, I do think this is really cute and I do love like a dustier pink in winter, so I think I'll definitely wear it a lot. The next thing that I ended up picking up from Ankh Rouge is this skirt. This skirt wasn't on my wish list. I actually had another skirt on my wish list that was kind of similar in that it was kind of a similar color, but I didn't find it in stores. I think they were sold out, so I decided to pick this one up instead. This is just like a longer skirt and it's in this mauvey pink color again, and it's just got these really, really beautiful button details on the top. I absolutely love this this button detail. I love anything with like the strong buttons like that, like blazers, skirts, whatever. And I just think that this skirt is really, really elegant. I'm actually looking to put more pieces in my wardrobe that aren't patterns and that are more solids just because I have found that it's really, really hard to match like pattern with patterns. So I wanted to buy a few more simple pieces in order to make my wardrobe a little bit more versatile. And I think this skirt will go really, really well with a lot of stuff that I already have. I also really love the length of this dress. It's a little bit longer than my like Liz Lisa like traditional dresses but I think that'll be really nice especially for like the more elegant mature look that I'm going for lately so yeah I'm really glad that I picked this one up the next item from Aunt Rouge that I got is this top I've been wanting one of these tops for so so long it's got like a pearl detail at the top which makes you kind of look like you're wearing a pearl necklace and it's also got this really really cute little heart cut out now like I said I've been wanting one of these tops for a really really long time one with the pearl detail and two with the little heart cut out however a lot of the heart cut out ones that I've seen have been like really really big and the heart usually goes like all the way down like this where it shows a little bit of cleavage which I'm not a big fan of like for me in my opinion so I really wanted one with a small one and I finally found it at Ankh Rouge and like the time that I went there was a really really big sale so I was able to pick this up for pretty cheap. I have this really big thing where I don't like tops like I don't like the way they look on me and I have a really really hard time buying tops so I wanted to focus a little bit more on tops this time so I bought this and a couple other ones that might look really similar but to me to find a top that I really like is such a struggle so I'm really glad that I was able to pick up a few. I just think this will look really really cute with all of my skirts and because it's so plain it'll go really well with the ones that have prints on them as well and yeah I'm a little bit sad that this is a sweater I shouldn't have picked up so many sweaters but I just couldn't resist because it was winter in Japan so there were a lot of really really cute sweaters however I'm still gonna be lacking tops in summer so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I'm definitely glad that I picked this one up the next few items are from a brand called Ingu it's spelled a little bit weird it's spelled like in Nigi, but it's pronounced Ingu in Japanese. So the first top is this crisscross top, and it's another long sleeve shirt. Like I said, it was winter in Japan, so a lot of the things were long sleeved. But my favorite detail about it is this like crisscross detail. I love the way that this crisscross thing looks, and I just think it's a really, really cute detail to add to a simple top. So that's why I kind of picked this one up. And at Ingu, they always have sales. Like every single time I go, no matter what time of the year, Ingu always has like the craziest sales. So they were doing it too for 2,500 yen. I believe so I bought this one and I also got this top so not much to say about this top it's really really plain I just really like the color and I love like a good v-neck so that's kind of why I picked this one up there's nothing really special about it but like I said I really do need more tops because I have so many skirts and not enough tops so that's kind of why I picked this one up as well and like I said it was pretty cheap so yeah I just kind of really liked it and then the third Ingu top that I picked up was this cable knit sweater I love a cable knit sweater I just think they are so so cute in winter and I really 
really liked this one because it wasn't too thick. I know this is kind of counteractive in winter, but a lot of the times I feel like cable knit jumpers are way too thick in my opinion. And especially because I'm indoors most of the time, I don't want something like way too thick because I don't want to overheat. So I thought this one would be really, really cute. And it's got this really cute detail in the back. It's just got this like lace up, tie up bow kind of thing. And I thought that was a really nice detail. I had a Liz Lisa jumper that kind of had like the same thing, but I sold it. So I wanted to find something kind of similar. And I just really, really love this style. I think it'll go really, really great with all of my skirts and yeah, you can never have too many cable knit sweaters, I think. So the next brand that I want to talk about is called Charite by Prime Pattern. And this is actually my first time ever hearing of this brand, but I fell immediately in love. However, it was the end of my trip, so I only picked up two items from them. I wish I had discovered them during the beginning of my trip so I could have more money to spend on them. But unfortunately, since it was the end of my trip, I didn't have too much money left over. So I was only able to pick up two items. The first item is my absolute favorite for winter. I just think that this dress is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's this dress right here and what I love about it is that it's this plaid pattern. I love plaid in the winter. I have this gray skirt from Honey Cinnamon that I've been wearing literally to death. You've probably heard me talk about it a few times if you watch my other YouTube videos and you might have seen it like 8,000 times on my Instagram if you follow me on there too. But I do love plaid during the winter, especially anything with gray and pink and white. Like that's just my perfect, perfect winter color combination. So when I saw this, I automatically fell in love. I was just floored. I had to buy it. It's got these really, really cute ruffles on the top and it's a pretty nice length dress. It's not too short. I think it's really, really mature and cute at the same time, which is kind of what I've been going for lately, if you haven't noticed. The back just has one zipper going all the way down and I really, really like to wear this with the top underneath, like my Aunt Rouge top that I showed you guys earlier. I just think that that look is super, super cute and super elegant and I've been seeing a lot of girls in Japan wearing that kind of style, like with a sweater underneath and then like something on top like this dress. Yeah, I just think it's really cute and the layering keeps you a little bit more warm because this is a short sleeve dress. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite items that I picked up on my trip this year. The last item that I got from Cherie is this jumper and I absolutely love, 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 love <laughs> this jumper so much. One of my favorite things in the whole entire world are cowl necks. It kind of makes you look like you're wearing like one of those infinity scarves over a sweater, but it's like attached onto it, so I really, really like that look. I saw like a lot of different brands doing this, but I just think the Charite one was really, really cute because on like the cable knit part, they are actually hearts instead of like your normal like twirly, swirly kind of pattern, which I just thought was so, so cute. It's such a cute detail. I just think it's really, really girly and fabulous for winter, and it'll go with so many of my skirts. It'll literally go with every single skirt. I'm actually kind of sad for winter to end. I bought so many cute like jumpers and coats and stuff, which I really, really want to wear, so I'm kind of hoping I can carry them into the spring, but if not, I'll just look forward to wearing them next winter. The next few pieces are from a brand called Mercury Duo, so I've actually heard of Mercury Duo before and I've seen them on the Runway Channel website which I buy a lot of clothing from the brand called Eat Me so I've definitely seen Mercury Duo before I've just never really noticed them or taken a look at them however my friend that I was staying with in Japan really really likes this brand so she invited me to have a look on her laptop at the sales that were going on with Mercury Duo and I absolutely fell in love with some of the pieces that they had I didn't really look at them before because I was going for a more of like a unbelievably like in your face kind of cute and Mercury Duo definitely has more like mature adult like still cutesy but like more mature cutesy which is what I've been going for lately so I found a lot of their items really really cute. The first item is this dress. This is something a little bit unusual. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. However I do really really like this style and I'm just in love with this color. It's like a really peachy like spring kind of color so I'm really really excited to wear it in the spring. I did wear it once already with like a sweater underneath so it gave it a little bit more of a winter vibe. However I'm really really looking forward to wearing this in the spring with maybe like a light blazer or something like that. The next item from Mercury Duo is a little bit more cutesy and a little bit more my traditional style and it is this dress right here. It's got this really really beautiful lace detail on the top and the bottom is kind of like this tool over like this really really bright pink mesh kind of material. So when I saw this at first, I wasn't too sure about it, but then I saw the price and the discount and oh my god, it was so unbelievable that I had to get it. So the price originally of this dress was I think $210. Like, what? That's so insane for a dress. But on the sale, it was only 
35 maybe 40 dollars i believe so literally just on that alone i really had to buy it and i just think that it's really cute it's more of like an occasion dress i believe the fabric is a little bit more thick and i think it's just like a little bit too fancy to wear day to day i don't know just like the material that makes it so fancy so i think i'm gonna save this to wear to like fancy occasions during the summer which i think i have a couple weddings that i'm going to this year so i think i'm gonna save it for that <clears throat> oh my god my voice is like dying a little bit because i've been talking so much the next thing that i have to show you is another sweater and it's from mercury duo once again it's just this really really plain sweater but oh my god it was only six seven dollars so i had to snatch it up because i am looking for more tops especially more plain tops and i don't really have too many pink tops the tops that i tend to buy are more white just because i have a lot of pink bottoms so i thought this would be a really great addition to my wardrobe and it's got this really cute detail in the back sorry it's a little bit wet because i just washed it it's got this really cute cinch detail on the back which i love and it kind of like opens up the back a little bit so you can see like a little bit of your skin the next thing i have to show you is from a brand called dazlin and i actually have heard of dazlin also as well my friend who lives in japan that i stayed with really really loves this brand so i've been hearing about it from her for years however i never really found anything to be my style but i gave it a go and i actually found this really really cute coat so here's the coat it's this beautiful beautiful light pink color i absolutely love trench coats i think trench coats are like my number one favorite kind of coat i think i already have three or four trench coats in my collection but nothing in this really really baby pink color so i just thought it would be a really really cute addition and oh my god it is the most flattering coat I've ever owned like I really like the Liz Lisa ones that I have but those are a little bit shorter which is really nice because I am petite and I like how it like is the length of my dress this is a little bit longer than most of the dresses that I own so it does go a little bit further but I also really really love that look I also think that this is so cute and structured like I just love the way that it looks it looks really really clean it looks really polished it's got this like kind of cape thing in the back which I really love because it reminds me of like the more expensive trench coats and yeah this was also in the sale i was actually debating on buying this a long time ago because my friend sent it to me maybe a couple months ago but it wasn't on sale then so it was kind of expensive so i passed on it but in the sale it was really really affordable so i just decided to go for it and i think it goes without saying but if there's anything still on sale and still available right now i will leave the links down below so you can find these items if you liked anything so i'm actually on the last couple of items the next item that i have isn't from japan it's from topshop from the uk so the story behind this is that I was in Thailand and I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Freddie My Love. If you've never checked her out, she's really, really cute. She's just a YouTuber from the UK who's got really, really cute style. And like I said, I was watching one of her videos and she showcased this jacket in one of her videos and I absolutely could not wait till I came back to the US to buy this coat. So I thought if I internationally shipped it to my friend's house in Japan, it would be there in time for me to wear it in Japan. Unfortunately, it wasn't and it literally came the day that I was leaving. So I wasn't able to wear it there but luckily my friend was nice enough to ship it to me in the US so it is this coat right here I absolutely love this coat like I am just like every time I see it my heart like beats a little bit faster just because I love it so so much it's got this like blazer kind of design with the lapels I don't think this is necessarily a winter coat it's a little bit thin in my opinion for winter coat so I think this will be really really nice for like the warmer winter days or the cooler spring days that are coming up it actually had like a fur collar that came with it I don't remember where I put it I think I put it in a box so I don't have it to show you but it did come with a detachable pink fur collar which I really really love on the coat but I like wearing it more without it so that's why I've taken it off I feel a little bit silly now like thinking about how I had to ship it to Japan when I should have just bought it in the US because they did have it in the US top shop but I just couldn't wait so Oh well that happened but that's okay I'm really glad that I have it either way the next two items that I have to show you are shoes the first pair of shoes is this pair that I bought from a shop in Shibuya 109 I think the shop was called Galets or Galets I'm not really sure how to pronounce it but yeah in that shop they just sold like accessories and shoes and some purses and I saw these and I fell absolutely in love with them I just love the color and I just love the scallop detail I also really like the shoes that are like open like this just because they are so comfortable to wear and I really really wanted a pair of comfortable shoes while walking in Japan it's got this like low block heel which is still really cute in my opinion I'm really glad that I picked them up because they are so so cute and they were really really comfortable to walk in the next pair of shoes I can't remember where I bought them from I know it was in Harajuku and we were literally about to leave and go to the train station but we went into this little like shopping center and I saw these shoes they might look kind of plain in the front they're just like this faux suede material and they're like in this deep pink color which I've been really really loving for autumn and winter but the back has this really, really cute, I don't know if you can see it, 
it's got this like really really cute gold ribbon detail oh my god I love this so much I've seen so many shoes have this little detail including Liz Lisa's shoes but I haven't picked up a pair myself so when I saw these I was absolutely floored and it was super super inexpensive because I think it's just like a brand from China it's probably one of those shoes that you could easily buy like off of Taobao or eBay however they were still pretty cheap in person so I decided to go for them so that was all for everything that I bought in Japan I didn't really do any shopping in Thailand just because I wanted to save literally all my money for Japan but on the last day that I was in Thailand I did pick up something really really special so it's Disney in collaboration with this Thai brand I can't remember what the Thai brand is called what I'm talking about is this so it's just a bag but inside the bag is this beautiful beautiful scarf and it's Marie like how cute is that I love Marie I think she's super super cute and she's just an awesome character so basically it's just this really really big scarf scarf kind of thing. I wasn't really interested in this before just because like I didn't really know what I could do with it. However, I just decided to go for it just because like the print is so so cute and I think there are a couple of ways that I can wear this like in the spring. First way I thought of wearing it is just like as a little scarf. I don't know. I've seen like a couple people wear like scarves this way like with dresses and I don't know. It's kind of cute I think. Do you think it's cute? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of cute, right? It's kind of like maybe posh in a way I don't know and I was also thinking that I could wrap it around like a handle of a bag or something it's a little bit longer so I could wrap it and then also like use it as an accessory or as a decoration on one of my bags I don't know I'm going to find a use for it I just couldn't leave without having this it's just so so cute look at all the little Marie's I feel like I have to show you this pretty closely just because wow so adorable. All right, I think that's all the items that I have to show you. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't forget any like I did last time. I'm so sorry about that. I get really, really irritated when I forget something and then I have to like clip it in. Please let me know what you thought of this video and what you think of my new backdrop. And let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. Also, I did mention a few more Japanese brands that I discovered this time. So let me know what you think of those as well. And if you have another Japanese brand or any brand really that you want to recommend to me, please also leave that down in the comment section below. I'm always looking for new things to buy and new brands to try out so that would be really really nice if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye <laughs>